Hi guys, welcome to teach to code I am Suraj. Today I am going to show you how to connect to a database using PHP. Okay. First of all, I have to navigate to PHP my admin where I am creating the P creating the database and configuring the database. Okay. First of all, I am navigating my browser to PHP my admin. Okay. In the browser URL address bar you have to give IP address 127.0.0.1 slash PHP my admin or otherwise instead of IP address you can give localhost if that IP address is not work if that localhost is not working you can give the IP address okay then press enter okay here is our PHP my admin okay if you want to get PHP my admin we have to install a local server on our system I am using warm server over here okay if you are working on Linux you can use slam or separately you can download and install rather than that it's better to install as combo if you are using uh, Linux not Macintosh you can use mom server if you are using some it can be work on uh, multiple platforms okay I am using warm here warm stand for Windows Apache MySQL and PHP here I can see a databases tab okay. M click on the tab I click on the tab and here you can give the database name okay first of all I am going to give a database call Suraj and click on create now our database has been created if you want to delete that database click on the checkbox and click on drop then click on yes now our database has been removed okay I'm going to create same database for the testing purpose create okay now we have to connect the connection string and the code in PHP okay for that I'm going to navigate to my code editor I am using notepad plus plus for code editing okay I opened a PHP tag then I close that one okay. in between I am going to give the codes first of all we have to create a connection okay for creating a connection it is essential to declare a variable and we are going to store all the connection string in that variable okay then you can give any variable name that you want you have to give my sqla underscore connect okay uh, it is a default function in php um, okay it, it is an alias of my sqla construct function okay then you have to define the local host name no host name okay my host name is localhost okay if you are using mom server sam or something like that the default host name will be localhost if you are using any online hosting services you can you have to give the uh, host name that they are providing okay localhost then you have to give the local uh, database username that is root as default if you want to change that you can go over php my admin and the database tab you can uh, change the username and after that i'm giving the password actually as default the pa password is none so you don't have to give any password if you want to set a password also you can go over php my admin and you can create a password password over there okay after that you have to give the database name my database name is suraj okay after that you have to give the semicolon okay now i have to test my connection check connection for that i am using if condition if you are not familiar with if condition you can check php.net and over there you can check the manual 
otherwise you can check my own tutorials for if statements okay then if this ex exclamation mark stands for not it's not equal to the connection okay the system will, uh, will check the program which me will check whether this connection is connecting or not if it is not connecting or the parameters are incorrect in the connection string it will display die die means exit okay uh, as an alternative in php we are using die die fail to connect okay after that you have to give a uh, concatenation for joining okay my sqli underscore connect error okay first of all if we are getting an error message the first time will be failed to connect after that we will get the error whatever what error it has okay so be careful to check your connection string okay then after okay if you want to have a su success message then you can give an l statement echo success and control say okay you can go over the php file that you have saved fi success we got the message success it means our database has been successfully connected okay we can have that uh, my sql connect uh, this connection string in an alternative way for that I'm giving in the you can declare another variable okay i am giving host my host name is localhost then um, user my username is root then pass my password is nil nothing then database name database name is suraj okay then we can replace this with the declared variable that is dollar host next dollar user then dollar pass dollar name okay we can save that one and check whether it is working or not yes it is working okay this way also you can do if you want to change any parameters you can change over here nothing to play with the connection string okay this is about the uh, connection okay if you want to uh, close the connection you can use my sqli close this my sqli underscore close your connection string uh, name that is in this way you can close the connection okay this is about the uh, connection about database in php okay we can see uh, about more databases uh, use and also how to use them in our web development okay thank you for watching my tutorial take care bye